Earth and Mars get into a throwdown. How well do any of us really know Naomi? LPA. The LPA wants Earth and Mars to fight. Mars wants Earth and LPA to fight. Earth wants LPA and Mars to fight. They all want each other to fight. These men. It's not their fault, they need water. You have every right to be angry. You should be angry. But if we act like animals... Exactly. The only thing... Treat them the way they should treat us. Why do I recognize that actor? He looks really familiar. Now I'm getting choked up. Other than the money. He's, he's, like, he's, he's, like, there's a mystery there, he knows there's something weird going on, and he not wants to know the truth. And that would be me. I can't, I, I can't handle not you. knowing the answers to something. See if I need to know get to the end of the riddle, the end of the path, and figure out what's going on. For preventing bloodshed earlier. I have no resentment. I don't believe in causes, and I will not be your scapegoat. I believe her, weirdly enough. What are these little ball things? This is weird. What? What do they do? Gentlemen. Now there's crypt distress calls all the time. Nine times out of ten, it's pirates. I'm afraid our captain would not have answered it. So who did? Who registered the call? Someone who survived? Is it like getting Brute. into her head? And like she's fighting Unlikely. back. Like the pilot. Whatever you're thinking. No. Not you. What do the Don't hands have to do with all this? Why does he want to see her hands up at least while doing this? Everything. I told them everything. Anything they wanted to know, I told them. I, I, I think I even made some stuff up at the end. I can't remember. I just kept talking. <laughs> I they like told them. me. Told me that you faked your medical records and signed on to the can to get away from a drug dealer oh. and wanted your dad. Well, that's true. Oh, okay. I like that he just admits it. I'm not your darling, and you're obviously one of them. Right, all right, let's just settle. You didn't down. answer my question. We put in all our cards on the table here. This is exactly what Mars wants you to do. They want not you to play each other. Day. Stop so it. You're going to spend the rest of your lives breaking. No one knows anything. Except you do whatever she says. So what was my big plan, huh? To sit on a ship bucket like the camp for five years while all of this got set up. Exactly. Why? Why? If she were a okay, why she just sit on a ship with two eyes? What is that going to help okay with? Amos, 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 Naomi, Alex. I don't know the doctor's name or the main guy's name. Capital speaks to you now. I can chatter between Mars High Command and nine MCRN facilities believed to manufacture stealth composites and gunships. Nine? I thought there were only six. There were more than we thought. Ooh. She did this on purpose, then she told him knowing he would talk to the others. They were taking inventory. I need to take graph that Mars was giving stealth. I know, she's smart. She was real smart. The spy she's using her was own friend. They were calling to see if anything Ooh. was missing. And since they had to ask, it means that they didn't give it to anyone. Yeah, so it wasn't them. Which means that Mars isn't working with the OPA. Uh. Or trying to take control of Sirius. So... They didn't destroy the Canterbury. Yep, I Not knew that. Someone was trying to start a war. Yeah, someone's trying to do something to start these people fighting that have that much money and greater ship. I don't think OPA seems like they don't have that big of a ship. And it's not Mars, then who is it? You will publicly recant your statement. You guarantee 
the safety of my people. You saw it, negotiate. Get yourself safe you distance away safely, and then we can telling everyone, everyone that the Canterbury was destroyed through the actions of Naomi Nagata, an what? operative of an OP. Um, no, we're not throwing Naomi down. No, don't throw under the bus. She did not do this. This was something or someone true. else. Even if Naomi is. Drive plume of a ship decelerating hard toward us. We've been tracking it inbound ever since we picked up your distress call. Oh, really? It's not one of ours or Earth's. And it won't answer our hands. Oh, it's that ship. We suspect it was sent from Naomi Nagata. I don't know about Anything that. Now? But it's the same ship, maybe that attacked them. Too fast, or it, they, it's not theirs. Ooh. Does he know what she did? At least you had the respect to stab me in the chest. Yeah. They sell it at the I told you, she thought she's, she's ruthless. She'll stab you right in the front. Not, not even care. You know what I love most about her? Dedicated to a common goal. Working together as one to turn a lifeless rock into a garden. That's kind of nice. We had a garden, and we paved it. They couldn't do any of that Welcome without Earth. the knowledge of centuries from Earth. Earth must come first. I don't know about that. I have no because we thought of Earth was nice and all, but I don't think My diplomatic should focus all the energy on one planet when there's millions of others living on other planets. Mars for life. Now I do. You will do anything to win. Yeah, she will. Just like your father. That's what got him killed. Oh, it did. Who was her father? I won't play with you. What happened to him? Ever again. Ooh. Oh, that actually it seems like it affected her a little bit. Mm. Stick around for a while. Make sure it stays that way. So, yeah, I think he's gonna find her dead. Let's see. He's gonna be attacked or something. Oh god. Yep, he's about to be attacked. Oh no. Oh no. That's why he doesn't go alone. Oh. I'm gonna walk alone with the dog. He needs to be a grown man. He looks afraid like he's about to be his parents. It's not over they can tell, and they're all. It's people. just beginning. Like way bigger than us. Damn. Oh, he's done. Oh no. Oh, oh. Remember the cat. Oh, yeah. He did. He's... What? I didn't throw his name yet. Oh, that's it. Oh, dang. Damn. Well, people. Well, three episodes in, and... Wow! They legit just killed him. I don't even know his name. But I knew he was like a newbie and he was like just trying to be cool and kind of learn and be the nice guy. Obviously being the nice guy on this show does not get you very far. Because he's dead. This is why you don't walk alone when you're a hated person in this area in the dark at night. It's just not smart. No. Like, there were just riots. Like, don't be alone when you know everyone there hates you. He's not the brightest, but I don't want him dead. God, and just like the way it happened. Wow. Oh, this show just went from that to that. Oof. This episode, so much happened. I, it went by so quickly. Oh my God, I have like a page and a half worth of notes. So many. So let's just get into this, you guys, because, wow, that, that, that ending did not see that happen. I thought he was going to find that girl dead, but no, he ends up dead.
I'm liking you, Expanse. I'm liking you. You're twisting it on me. You're, you're shaking it up. And I like it. Alright. Um, let's... Well, let's talk, talking about him, I wrote down. I like that he was learning the language and he was trying to do that. He was hiring this woman for something very different than she's normally hired for. And they seemed to be falling for her and she was falling for him, which was so cute. I kind of liked it. It was something so innocent of the show, which... There's really nothing else in the show that's very innocent and romantic and nice like that. So, of course, they freaking killed that off. You ruthless, Expanse. You ruthless. You Game of Thrones in it here. And I'm loving it. I like to be thrown off like this. Not expecting it. I like when I can't expect something. Because I watch a lot of TV, so I expect things. I, I didn't even th think he was going to die at that either. I thought he was just going to be tortured or something. And found, like, beaten up or taken hostage. I don't know. I didn't think he was just going to be killed right in the chest and... The end. Oh, God, I wish I could watch the next episode, but it's past one o'clock. Oh, I want to watch. Mm, mm. I could, though. I could stay up. But the energy drink, first of all, before I continue with this, have any of you guys had, if you've had bang energy drinks, I've had one other before. I'm not, this is the second I'm having one. I chose a random flavor. And Sour Heads, this thing, this thing, if any of you guys drink this because you like it and drink it often, why? This t flavor tastes awful. It is like a sour weirdness. It's like a, like I love sour flavor stuff. I love sour apple flavor and candies, but it is a weird in a drink. It is bizarre. It makes me look like every time I have a sip and I don't like that. I want to be able to have a refreshing drink, but it is giving me energy, which is nice, but I've had to stop drinking it like halfway through the episode so I can fall asleep after this. But I'm still kind of wired, so I, honestly, I could watch another episode and just not drink. And by the end of that episode, I would be tired enough to go to sleep. I'll debate it by the time I finish discussing you. Let's keep going down this list. Got a lot. Um, so much happened. I'm trying to figure out what I wrote. I, I just, I write down random things sometimes, and I don't really know what I was talking about. Okay, um, there's a lot going on. Things got answered. There was things answered this episode, so I'm proud of that. I'm proud they answered things. Kind of. Or they checked a possibility off of one of the answers. One of the, you, get what, you get what I'm saying? Like, they were pulled, there was questions, and there was poss multiple possibilities, and they kind of knocked one possibility off, so it's less options now. They kind of did that. So, it's better than nothing. So, this whole thing with... All right, first I want to say, let me start with this. The intro. Why the hell haven't they brought that intro back? I liked it. it. Reminded me of the 100. It was really cool. I love when shows have intros. Why don't a lot of shows have theme songs and intros anymore? It is annoying. I miss those days. Like Smallville, great theme song. Loved it. I still have that song on iTunes. That stuff was great. Shows with theme songs are better. Game of Thrones, look at that. Westworld. I love Westworld. I don't know why they just don't want to pop it in. It's not that long. Make it a little shorter if you need to. Speed it up. I don't know. I like intros. And it was really cool looking. Maybe they'll just bring it back like premieres and finales. Or maybe when it moves to Amazon because they don't have to have a time restriction, they'll put them in. I guess I'll see. Okay. I'm going to start with like, I guess I'll discuss the different storylines. I'm going to start off with the guy on series because not as much happened with him. Let's see, really all that happened with him was he was looking for the girl again, which the girl I still wish we had more of because she seems quite amazing. I would love to see more of her. She is a very interesting character. I love her. But let's see what really happened with him. There was the ride at the end, of course, and that was some interesting stuff. He's really just, he seems really interested in the mystery, as I was saying, like, of the girl and everything, and I think I relate to that because I love a good mystery and I really want to solve it. So I understand why he's like so intrigued by it, but he's also just kind of not paying attention to the things he has to do on series right there, like the riots. Like, those kids were getting hurt, like, that's not good, riots are not good. As long as like peaceful protests are good, but full on riots like that is not good. Um, that's all I really had for that. Wow. And of course, the guy dying at the end, but I've already said enough of that. I'll probably mention it by the end. But, yeah, his storyline this episode, he was the third ranked. He's 
He's down on food right now. But I would say second storyline that I liked the most was the UN lady. She's up to number two now. Good for her. She's made it up. Still don't know her name. Like, I still can't figure out these names. Come on, people. I do know now that, what was it? Um, Whose name did I write down? I wrote down one more person's name. Or did I? Did I think I wrote it down and I just didn't? Did I just pretend? Oh, no. Amos. Amos is the bald head guy in the group of five. Yeah, Amos, Naomi, and Alex. Those are the three names I know. One each episode. I'm like, new name each episode. It's going to be great. The UN lady, I feel like they say her name multiple times, but I don't understand what they're saying. Like, I need, I need someone, one of you guys to tell me, because I'm going for this one, sorry. <laughs> but she is such a fascinating character. She, it's, it's hard to read her. She's lying, she's smiling, she's like, she's very serious, she's mean, she's nice, she's, She's, like, manipulating her friends and stabbing them right in the, like, the chest. Like, like he said, like, literally stabbed him in the chest and was, like, friendly with him and brought a drink and was, like, still wanting to be friends with him. But he was, like, no, no, you betrayed me one too many times. I'm done. Good for him. Bad for her. I don't feel that sorry for her. I like her as a character, but I'm not rooting for her or anything as of right now. But we did learn because of her... Because she told that guy, that a friend, about the possibility that they are, like, giving weapons to the OPA, that he went back to Mars, talked to them, and they're talking and checking on their supply of stuff to see, and that let them know that they weren't working with them, and let them know how many places they keep, and, like, keep check on where they keep their stuff, which was smart of her. Very smart. She is clever. Clever. She had hidden agenda with everything she does and it's impressing. She is five steps ahead. Ooh, I am impressed. I hate how impressed I am by it. Like, ooh, that's some chess moves there. That, that's good. But because of that, we learned that OPA, sorry, that the OPA and uh, Mars are not working together. So Mars did not attack that ship. And we know, from what I can tell, OPA does not have that kind of money and resources. They're like a resistance group trying to stop chaos. Or the terrorists, as they say, which I don't know if I fully believe. They could be honestly good guys. We just don't know. But I don't, it doesn't seem like they're the other group that could have had that big of a ship that that strong, that fast, that just destroyed them. And that would leave a trap and just randomly kill anyone. Is this like a another group that we don't know of. Because as of right now, I wrote down, like, there's, like, the four main parties right now are Mars, Earth, the Belters, and OPA. Mars and Earth are the big ones. They hate each other, basically. And they want to control everything. And Belters are kind of in between and getting pushed around. They're, the like, the middle child just being used whenever needed and thrown away when not. And then OPA is kind of the group that's built been built up because of all that and that wants kind of Mars and Earth to fight each other, take each other out so that everyone can kind of be free it seems like or maybe they want control. I don't really know their motives but yeah I really liked how the UN lady played into this and how smart she is and like she's a great actress. Um, what else did I write for her? No that was the storyline. Okay. Oh, the one comment she made was how it's the one last thing I want to talk about is like the comment she made about Earth first. I found that really interesting that she thinks because like they all came originally from Earth that Earth should be the primary thought that people focus on and care about the most. I understand that like you should they shouldn't leave Earth and go to all the other planets and kind of forget about Earth and leave behind all the people there. But at the same time, you have all these other people to care about. You can't choose one to be prioritized over another. They need to be all equally taken care of. They're all Earth people. They're all humans. They should all be treated equally. Which, again, I know it's like a metaphor for real life. We're all from different countries and all we should all be treated equal. Exactly. All humans. Whether you're on a different planet, different country, 
all humans should be treated equal. All should we have a normal amount of water and not have to worry about dehydrating or dehydrating, dehydrating. What is it? It's the word. You're not starving because that's not food, but you're. Is it dehydrating? I don't know the word. I feel like there's another word I can't place it. I don't know. But I'll just move on from there. But is it, there, there's a balancing act, and the problem is no one wants the balance. Everyone wants to think about themselves. It's annoying. How easy it would be if people just thought of other people for once. Just saying. Alright, last bit, and the most busy, and my favorite storyline of the episode is, of course, the five in the ship. I'm really liking them. It's very interesting. I'm learning more and more about them. And I don't know what's true, what's not, and it's annoying. <sighs> so let's go with, um, um, where to begin? It was a lot. <sighs> uh, let's go with... Naomi? Let's go with the Naomi. Let's start with Naomi. Yeah, let's start with Naomi. Is she OPA? Is she not? I don't know. I kind of believe her. I want to believe her. But that could be a trick on me. I don't know. I don't know her well enough to know. But from what it seems like, she looks like she's telling the truth. And I, I don't know. I, I'm usually a pretty good judge of character. And I could tell when they're lying. I could tell that UN woman. I could tell she was lying. She was manipulating. Naomi? She seems genuine. Honestly, she just seems like maybe she does have a little sort of past. Maybe she has a history with OPA, but I don't think she's like working with OPA. It doesn't make sense. Why would she work with OPA? What's the big thing? Like you walk in Ice Hollow and go back and forth and the same thing over and over. You, what, what kind of access is that getting you? What kind of stuff is that getting you to? If that was the OPA that attacked them, why would they attack the ship that they have someone of their own on? Maybe she defected from the OPA and, like, they're after her. Defected? I don't know. I just feel something's off with that. But I also liked how we learned that Alex, I had a feeling, I had a gut feeling when they took him off. They found, like, in his file that he was, something like, a Martian. So, like, he's a good guy. He was one of them. Not a good guy. He's a... I don't know if he's a good guy or not. I can't tell with Alex. He seemed like a sweet, nerdy guy that I was going to like. But now he's a Martian. He's acting a little weird. And I don't like it. So I guess he was worked, uh, was a Martian and was in the army or something for like 20 years. He doesn't seem that old to be in there for 20 years, first of all. How old is he? He looks pretty young. But, so he was not imprisoned. And I'm like, Lord. And all these people, the Mars people, first of all, their ship, nice. Lots of armor, everything's pretty, really nice and pretty, and, or not pretty. It's all very functional and very military-esque. And the way they were playing these five off each other and using them to, like, fight was nice. Even the doctor, like, we learned that he doesn't, he, like, faked his license and everything to get away. Like, they all had secrets hiding. We don't know about, um, what's, oh, wow, Bang really is making, banging me right now. Ew, no, why'd I say that? Ew. But, um, we didn't really learn much about Amos, or about the other guy, which I still can't find his name. What is his name? The main guy. Like, I know three of the five. I don't know the doc's name or the main guy, and it's bothering me, because I like the main guy. I'm liking him, I'm not liking him, it's going back and forth. He's slightly annoying, he's slightly not annoying. I'm sure I'll end up liking him more and more. He's hot, so he gets some brownie points later. But I like how Mars kind of played them off each other. It, was it worked really well. Gotta give credit credit where credit is due. But at the same time, what the fuck were those little ball pill things he was taking down? His eyes went up big, and then he was like, had to like make no like kept asking Naomi to show her hands, and was like reading her mind or seeing into her. I don't know, telling if she was lying. I have no idea. Was it like a lot futuristic lie detector test? It's really confusing. I want to know more because it's weird and interesting. I like it, but I don't like it. But I love it, but I don't love it. I don't know. I need more info before I can make a decision on that. He was a really creepy guy, though, that was doing the interrogation or whatever you would call it. it was just creepy looking. Plain face. Very serious. Ugh. Okay, and all the talk about OP, the OPA, I can't tell if they're terrorists or not. I really can't. 
are they really bad guys or it's just Maul doesn't let's see them as bad guys because they're like resisting what they want. It's hard to tell. Like, uh, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen, we haven't actually met like full on OPA people yet that have really done that many bad things that we know of. But we did learn that the ship that this Glopy, Sclopy, and oh, I already forgot the name of that ship. Dang it. Dang it. The one the goal was on that, that was used to get the, that one ship to get them the beacon, that they those were all OPA people on it, and that woman was OPA, and they were all brought there and killed. But why? Who, who wanted to lure OPA out there and kill them all? Or just use them to lure the, the ice freighter there? Why kill the people on the ice freighter? It's very confusing. <laughs> My brain is... Oh, it's going everywhere. A million miles a second. Old. Um, what else happened? Yeah, there was the dark, the magic pill. I like the whole idea that someone's trying to cause a war. That's a really interesting, like, plot. That someone's trying to cause them to fight. I did like that, um, what was it? That there was that end, the Mars people were like, there's a ship incoming and they're going really fast, headed towards them. Who is that? It's not them. It they think it's they think it's like OPA coming to get their person, which is Naomi. They think I don't see that because if it was OPA that attacked the ship, why would they attack a ship that they think their person is on? Made no sense. I I don't get that. I don't think it's OPA, but who is it? Is it like a I guess fifth party? Someone completely different. That has a lot of money and resources? I don't know. I have no idea. It's not Mars, it's not Night. I don't think it's Naomi or OPA. Who are these people? Who is this other group that we do not know about? It's it's a lot. It's it's so many questions. So many questions, people. Please don't spoil anything, but please let me know if I get some answers eventually. <laughs> Because I just want answers. I feel like I could just take a wall, get some string and note cards and start putting things up and lining to each other and I'd just go crazy. Crazy, I said crazy. But I love it. This is the kind of stuff I live for. The mystery of it all. Oh, the answers, the questions. Each, each answer gives me 20 more questions. It's back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I think I made myself a little dizzy. I think the energy jerk is starting to Go away a little bit. I'm getting tired. I can feel myself hitting. I have to wake up in a couple of hours. <laughs> Yay. But, um, before I say bye, guys, remember if you like this and want to see more reactions and support my channel, please leave a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button there, blue. And also comment what you thought about this episode when you first saw it. Um, just say hi. Um, if you want to talk about anything about the show and I don't know, theories, and I don't know, don't spoil anything. Just say hi if you want to. Support my channel. Yeah, share this with your friends. Go check out some of my other videos. All that kind of fun stuff. I don't know why I'm doing this. It feels fun. I don't know why. Do 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 do. I don't know why I'm. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this is a sign I should say goodnight, you guys. Just hope you enjoyed this, and go check out my other videos, and wait for the next video. Next reaction. Yeah, okay. Goodbye.